Oh, yeah, this is a dying cause. Oh, my God. What is wrong with these wheels? My God. How's it going, everybody? Trey Guess here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. So once again, we got another jam-packed week filled with a bunch of different creations. Actually, a lot more rock crawlers, by the way, so I think we're going to do another rock crawler competition. You guys seem to like that, so we'll do it again here. Just because a lot of people have been developing rock crawlers because the new uh, terrain that has been added to the game. But before we get into doing any sort of rock crawling, let's get into some very unique designs. This first one's called the Thrill Ride. It is obviously an amusement park ride in Besiege. And before we power on this ride, I'm just curious. Can we in fact get a peasant on the thing? Let's find out. I do have God Mode on. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't stop spinning, so I gotta kind of drop him on. I feel like he's going to die. Oh, shit. Okay, and now I'm just painting my fucking ride red, aren't I? That looks fucking badass, actually. So we're just gonna kind of color it with uh, blood. And uh, that's gonna warn the kids to not fuck around on this ride. Oh, shit. Okay, you know, I think I'm breaking the ride. Uh, oh, I think it's okay. Okay, well, that didn't go as planned, but as you can see, we do have this thing going here. It has some awesome cog work at the top. You can see how this thing is motorized just by a couple motorized cogs around some um, non-movable cogs. So, pretty cool design here. There's actually one more unique feature. You can actually... Well, actually, before we do that, I do want to go into first person just to kind of see it because it's cool. And I'm curious, can this thing actually do a full flip? Let's find out. Oh, that's a cool view as well. I love people that take the time to put some cool-ass cameras on these things. Okay, so I, th I think we should have it. Oh, right here. Yes, all the way around. Now, what makes this ride extra cool is you can unlock the hinges on the chairs, as you can see. I just did that, and they go freaking everywhere. I don't know if you're noticing it, but it's not just spinning around now. It's spinning up, down, left, right. It's basically a gyroscope. Uh, let's sit on this seat for a short period of time because I think it's going to get everyone nauseous. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. This looks like such a fun ride. I've ridden something like this before where it just spun, but if it can unlock the hinges, this just looks so much more fun. So yeah, Planet Coaster meets Besiege. A great starting here and an awesome little ride. This is actually remarkable that it's not breaking itself, by the way. Uh, this is not in invincibility or anything. And next up, we got this very awesome... Hey, dude, relax. You know what? I'm going to turn on my engines just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that, that was better than expected. Anyways, let's turn those things off again as I introduce this thing. Uh, yes, this is the Wright Flyer. If you don't know, this was the first aircraft to ever take flight. And it's based off of a realistic design from the actual Wright Flyer. So it does use a lot of the same mechanisms that the first plane did use. Uh, for example, the wings actually warp to turn. It doesn't have the, I, I believe they're called ailerons. I don't know. Uh, but yes, the whole wings warp, as you can see. Uh, the back rudders, of course, work just fine. And yes, it basically looks like a backwards plane, but uh, this is the front side of it. Now, there is a pulley system to get this thing off the ground, so let's start up the engines here. I don't know how far it's going to fly or how good it's going to fly. Let's keep in mind this is a realistic plane and uh, the first plane to ever take off the ground. I believe it only went like three football fields in length uh, for the first flight, so I'm going to hopefully go for as long as that. Let's find out here, though. Oh, yes, this is so cool. Okay, can I turn it? Oh, God, I want it to go down. It's not going down. Oh, I fucking stalled it already. Are you serious? Okay, let's try that again. I also slowed it down because it was lagging quite a bit, which is weird. I mean, it doesn't look like too complex of a craft, but sometimes that shit happens. Do you want to die again, bro? And here we see the stupid farmer being his typical stupid self. Notice how he walks right into... The blades of a fucking airplane, you stupid bastard. You're so dead. There we go. Oh, nothing like a little bloodshed in the morning now, isn't it? Okay, let's get this thing off the ground. I am going to put it at about 75%. Uh, for whatever reason, it did lag before. So let's hope we can get it off the ground now and not stall it right away. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Flying it. I don't want to go too high or I stall it. Uh, but turning this thing is harder than it seems. Yes! Look at this! I'm flying the right flyer! This is awesome! Oh shit, crashing! 
Okay, let's do one more flight here just because this is so damn fun. I mean, it doesn't work very good as it shouldn't. It's the first plane to ever take flight in the world. We have gotten quite far since then and improved our flight mechanisms quite a bit. But as you can see, you can totally fly it uh, if you do, you know... Have a nice fine touch and don't let the thing stall. If you go upwards, that's basic, basically a death wish. You kind of want to just treat it almost like a glider, and it does seem to work quite well. Let's see if we can land this thing and do a successful right fly. All right, turning off engines. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, not, 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 not the best landing, but let's try and land it again here. And as you can see, even with the engines off, it's just so good at gliding around. Oh, God, we're, we're going in a spin, though. But I'm gonna, I am gonna land this thing, damn it. Oh, watch out for the wall. There we go, there we go, there we go. And success. <laughs> so yeah, the right flyer. I hope you enjoyed this interesting experience into uh, the birth of aviation. A uh, very interesting little plane here. Okay, and moving on, we have this very awesome design. This is actually a vehicle with sphere wheels. Yes, it's got the fireballs as actual wheels on this creation, which makes it one of the most unique driving experiences that I've ever seen because it slides not only forward and backwards, but if I stop, for example, you can see it slides, you know, pretty much every which way. I mean, it, it is a ball, so it just rotates in there. And then you drive around. A very interesting design, very fun to drive, and fun to crash as well, as you can see. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and find some flat ground here to see how fast this thing truly is. As you can see, though, I'm hitting everything here. This thing, very hard to turn, obviously, because you're always rotating on the wheels. So it's basically like it's always on ice. Okay, but we did find the flat ground here. I think it's still okay. I mean, a few things have fallen off, as you can see, but it still should be totally fine. Let's try and get it up to speed here and see how fast it really is, because it looks like a fast car, but I don't know if it actually is or not. Okay, and yes, indeed, it is quite a fast creation once you get it up to speed. It's got quite slow acceleration, but... When you uh, have the room to get it up to speed, it does go very fast, as you can see. Churning, not very good, though. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fun. I want to do that again. And I actually forgot we were on 75% speed, so now we can see the true speed of this thing. And as you can see, it is quite fast. <laughs> yes. God, it just, like, totally explodes whenever you hit anything. And it's also got a first-person view, as you can see, which makes basically means we're sideways most of the time because this thing <laughs> likes to drift sideways. Let's see if I can go up this ramp. I'm going to try and aim it up right. Oh, yeah. There we go. A few things have fallen off, but we did hit that ramp. That felt really good. I drifted right into that ramp, and now we are rock climbing with a fucking indie car, basically. <laughs> oh, my God. So yes, if you are curious and you do want to download this one, this is called the Strafer, and it is absolutely awesome. Oh, I'm sorry about your uh, praying ceremony. What are they praying for? There's uh, something in the middle here. Usually they pray for something else. What is this? Oh, that is so sad. <laughs> oh my god, there's a dead statue, and they're praying. That is so cute. I absolutely love that I'm still finding things like this around the map. I mean, there's a lot to explore here. And moving on, we got another ornithopter design. This one is a bird. So yes, you can flap its wings, and hopefully if I can do it at the right time frame, it can fly. Let's try this thing out. Okay, nice slow flap. Let's do a very bird-like movements here. Oh yes, this is cool, this is cool. Oh man, this one's probably the best one yet for gliding. I've, I've used a lot of these before. Uh, and they are just so damn cool to fly. I really wish this camera would work with me, though. Yes, I'm a fucking bird, bitches! Oh, yes, I did a backflip with a bird. Oh, this feels great. I mean, I don't really know where I'm flying, and I'm not intentionally avoiding things like a pro, but, uh, yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna go down, and I just killed the bird. Rest in peace. Not a bad first flight, though, to be honest. I expected to crash right into the ground speak of the devil i almost did it right there oh this thing is so fun to fly though i'm assuming if you give it a good few hours with this you can master the flight and really make this thing look realistic but even if you suck with it it's so good at gliding you don't really have to even do anything like you can see i'm hardly ever using my wings as with most you know big birds they don't really use their wings too much they more glide and follow the wind currents than anything else uh, this one feels like it's doing that as well. Let's see. Okay, you can churn with it. It's a little difficult to do, but as you can see, I am controlling it just fine. And we are really high up right now. I don't think I've, I've ever gotten a creation this high up. You can see the actual map is starting to uh, 
go away from my view. Oh my god, I just want to go back down. I don't actually know how to go down with this thing. We're in space with a fucking bird. It's great. Okay, coming down, coming down. Oh shit, shit, shit. <laughs> okay, come on, hold it. Okay, I think we landed on the ground. I think we're upside down. Are we? No, actually, that, that was a successful landing. Let's just call it that. So yeah, it's been a while since we've seen another Ornithopter, and these are just my absolute favorite. Anything that is mechanical that can look natural is just so damn cool to me. So yeah, I hope we can see some more Ornithopters in the future, but for right now, I can't complain with this bird one. This is really cool. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the Rock Crawler competition. Now, if you missed last week, what we do is try and climb up this big mountain here. When you reach the top, your timer stops. The fastest one up there is the winner. Last week, this beast made it up there in just a few seconds. A lot of you guys were saying that this is modded to the point where it is actually gripping to the ground with uh, actual fans, but I don't think it is because when I flip it over, it doesn't fly upwards or anything, and usually that's a telltale sign that there's some sort of ground physics going on. I think it's just a really good rock crawler. Mind you, modders can hide things quite well, so I might be totally wrong as well. But yes, just like last week, I'm going to quickly... Jesus Christ, you fucking bastard. Hold on, I want to kill this guy. There we go. Uh, yeah, but just like last week, I'm going to show you guys all the competitors, and then you guys can vote if you want in the comments below on which one you think is going to win. So first off, we have the reigning champion. This is called the Rock Crawler Buggy. Uh, it's got steering in the back, steering in the front, and very big wheels, as you can see. A very good climber, we know that, and let's see if anyone can beat it today. And we got another rock crawler here. You can see this one's looking pretty good. The suspension quite large and the same wheels, I believe, as the rock crawler buggy. If you do want to vote for this one, just call it rock crawler. Uh, I'm going to say this one probably is going to be my choice, but we will check out a few more as well. Okay, I always like having an underdog. We got another underdog this week. This one's called the Duster. Now, this was made without rock crawling in mind. You can see it's quite rigid. The suspension doesn't really give that much, which a rock crawler should, but it's really fast, so it might have a chance to get up there first. So yes, if you want to vote for this one, just put Duster in the comments below. And the self-proclaimed best crawler in the world, we got the Explorer here. This one has eight wheels, as you can see. All the wheels churn, by the way. Uh, I'm going to assume this one's going to do very well just because of how many wheels it has. Uh, the more contact points you have, the better you should do at rock crawling. So yes, yeah, the only thing I'm really worried about with this one is the steering is a bit finicky and it's not that wide, so I think it can flip sideways quite easily. And we got another buggy. This one's called the White Knight Buggy for good reason. It's made out of all white. Uh, you can see quite a fast design. Not really a rock crawler, but if it can get grip, it's going to get up there very quickly. <laughs> and we got a vanilla design competing this week. That is a design that has no modding at all. This one, a pretty interesting looking vehicle. It actually can be uh, increased if you do want to go over rocks and whatnot. You can see uh, I can put it up like that and try it with this as well. Don't really know how well it's going to do, but it is very good at moving around as you can see, so hopefully it can do that good on the hills as well. And finally, we have the Black Panther, another fast buggy design here with some really good suspension. You can see it leaning sideways. I'm uh, going to assume if this one doesn't topple over by how heavy it is, this might be a good contender as well. Okay, so to recap, we will go quickly over all the vehicles once again, just in case you want to vote in the comments below. We got the Rock Crawler here, which was the big design. That's the one I'm going to be voting for. I feel like it is a great design. We got the Underdog, the Duster, the Explorer, which was the eight-wheel creation, the White Knight Buggy, Tiny Vanilla Rock Crawler, and there's a few more, Black Panther, and of course, the Rock Crawler Buggy, which was the winner last week. So feel free to get those votes in, and let's get climbing once again. Okay, and we're going to start off this competition with the reigning champion, the Rock Crawler Buggy. Now, if you missed last week, you don't really know how this works. Basically, the moment my front wheel touches any sort of part of this rock face, that's when the timer starts, and I am timed till I get to the top part of this mountain. Fastest one up there is the winner. So, because we got a few more creations this week, and I don't want this episode to be too long, I'm going to be doing two runs per creation. If you flip, that's your run over. Okay, so let's get going. First run, here we go with the Rock Crawler Buggy. I'm going to go straight up because I know how good this thing is at sticking to the ground. This is going to be a hard vehicle to beat, but as you can see, it does have a little bit of a problem here at the top. Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Let's hold on to it. No, 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 no. Okay, back down to the ground, and we flipped. Time out. 
So that first one was a fail with the reigning champion. All right, I want to analyze this course a little bit better this time. Take a little bit more of a strategic approach to it. Uh, I'm not going to go for time this time. I'm just going to go uh, for what looks like the mo best possible way of getting up. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start. Here we go. And I'm going to go a little bit to the right here. Looks like this is a better path. And then I can turn to the left once I'm up on this flat point. Yes, just like that. And uh oh, back wheel is over. That was a really good run. So the rock crawler buggy showing us why it won last week. This thing just has great suspension and ungodly light grip. You can see it just sticks to the ground. And moving on, we got the Rock Crawler. Now, this is the one that I voted that's going to win, but uh, if it's anything like last week, I'm going to be totally wrong. Let's hope for the best here, though. I'm going to go straight forward once again. I'm going to try and rush each first run, and then if it fails, obviously, we will try something different. This one's working fantastic, though. Very similar speed to the Rock Buggy. I have no idea which one wins, but that's going to be a close race. Okay, let's just do one more. We're going to go straight up the middle again because it had no problem at all. Hopefully, it does a little bit better this time. Grips a little faster. Oop, a little bit of a stutter there. I don't know if that's going to make us go slower. Yeah, I think this one's a bit slower than the first run, but successful once again. This thing is fantastic. Okay, next up, we got the Duster. A bit of a faster vehicle, but I don't know if it has the suspension to do a big mountain like this. It's not actually that rocky, though, so we'll see how it does. Here we go. Going up. First try. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you can see that. That, that suspension, the lack of suspension, if you will, uh, definitely not helping this thing out. Let me try and get another run at it here. Okay, I think we're going to go up this side this time instead just to see if we can get up there. Oh, no, <laughs> just didn't have the grip to do it. And it's a good thing I checked out the controls of this creation because you need to actually activate its suspension. So its first run, a complete failure, and it was all my fault. This thing actually does have suspension. You might want to change your votes now, guys. This thing's looking pretty interesting now. Okay, but I'm going to keep that first run in. It might have been my fault, but it was its first run. Now at least I know that this thing does basically transform, so let's go in for another run, and hopefully it has a chance now. Okay, going up. Timer should be started now. Let's hope for the best here. It is a bit of a faster creation, but it just doesn't have that grip. All right, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you can see. Oh, now it's just too top-heavy. Are you kidding me? The duster has failed me. Okay, I'm going to give this thing one more chance just because I know a lot of people are going to be upset if I don't. So let's try and get this thing on a good pathway. No, you can see it's so top-heavy now, I can't even do the first part because of how high the actual ground clearance is now. So yes, the Duster did fail the rock climbing competition, but it still is a very beautiful vehicle with some great turning mechanisms. I mean, look at this thing. It's just awesome. Okay, the self-proclaimed best rock crawler. Let's see if that is in fact fact. We got the Explorer here. Now, I don't actually know. Okay, this is the front of the creation. I didn't even know. Uh, it's definitely a bit faster than the other ones, and if it can stick to the ground as well as the other ones, I'm going to say this is probably the winner. But we don't know until we try it, so let's just go. I'm going to go full throttle into this. Oh, you can see that that suspension works extremely well. Oh, this is going to be close. Again, I have no idea which is the winner here because I'm not timing them as I'm playing. I'm going to time them once I'm done editing. That first run, though, went extremely well. I feel like that was the fastest run, but I have no idea. So we're just going to do the same thing again, and maybe we can get a bit of a better time. All right, here we go. Back on top and straight up the middle. It's a little slidey, as you can see, but if I can keep it straight, it does work remarkably well. And oh, 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 stay up there over the top. Yes, there we go. The Explorer showcasing that uh, rock crawlers don't need to just be buggies. Okay, next up, we got the White Knight buggy. By far, probably the fastest one of the crowd, as you can see, but it doesn't really have great rock crawling suspension. So if it can hold itself, I think it will do well, but let's find out. We're going to go right into it. Oh, man, if I can jump right up. Oh, shit. No, God. I almost flew up that mountain with this thing. Oh, my God. If I can do that, that's going to be so fun. Okay, I'm going to try a bit of a different angle this time because I go up so quickly that I can take a longer route because the other vehicles are a little slower, uh, as long as it's a little bit more safe. So I'm going to try and climb this part and then turn and climb the final part. So here we go. 
Let's hope for the best here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. All right, hold on to it. There we go. Yes, yes. All right, turn and up. Broke my wheel, but I made it over, and <laughs> we're good. Oh, my God. I have no idea who's winning right now. This is going to be a really close competition. Okay, and next up, we got the Vanilla Rock Crawler. This thing, I really have no idea what's to be expected with this one. Now, it does say in the actual um, explanation of the creation that I should be tapping W to stabilize it while moving, but that, in fact, moves my camera as well. So I don't know why they would use that button, but I'm going to try and use it as much as I can. Okay, let's shut up, though, and get right into it. I have no idea how this thing's going to work. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, I was hitting W, but it still flipped. Okay, again, I really have no idea where to put this. I mean, I could go like that, but I feel like that's a little bit too unstable. So I'm going to go nice and low this time. There's not really any huge rocks that I have to get over. So the ground clearance is not something that I'm worried about. Uh, I need to make this thing as stable as possible. So let's try this out. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, guys. Let's not count that because I was actually backing up. Okay, now I'm ready to go, though, so let's get this thing started. I'm going to take this nice and slow because I don't think this thing's going to compete. But if I can actually keep it up there, at least we can have a vanilla creation that makes it all the way up. Okay, maybe I should back up. No, 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 shouldn't back up. God damn it. No, get back on your feet. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. We'll, we'll, we'll count that as not a flip. Okay, that, that, that was definitely a flip. All right, so unfortunately, <laughs> the vanilla creation did not make it up. It just didn't have the grip that the other ones do. Okay, and next up, we got the Black Panther. Another fast design, as you can see. I'm excited to see how this one's going to do. I think I broke... No, I didn't break the suspension. Everything's okay. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to go straight up once again, just like the white one. Oh, my God. I broke the wheel on that. Oh, that's going to be a huge issue. <laughs> okay, well... That was a fail. Okay, pressure's on. We only got one more chance to do this, and we haven't even really tried it out yet. I'm going to go nice and slow at the start here, but I do got to go fast to keep up with the other competition. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Stay in there. Stay in there. You got this. No. My whole front end has fallen off once again. Can I get up there? Come on. You're so close. Oh, yeah. This is a dying cause. Oh, my God. What? What is wrong with these wheels? My god! Alright, well the Black Panther may have failed, but it failed in marvelous fashion. There's nothing better than a little bit of destruction. But yes, guys, that's it for our second annual rock crawling competition. I'm going to quickly edit this out and figure out who the winner is and announce it. So let's get into that. And I present to you our champion, the White Knight Buggy, with an astonishing time of 7 seconds, 1 millisecond. This thing blew away the competition. So I hope you guys enjoyed this second annual rock crawling competition. There was a lot of competition this week and it was really fun to play with a lot of these things. So I will say this is probably our final rock crawling competition only because I don't want this to be just about rock crawlers. This is the best besiege creations, not the best rock crawler creations. And that's only because so many designers are actually building rock haulers right now because of the new terrain. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.